Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it is July the 1st, so it is the beginning of a month long of Off the Board with Pineapple Papers, which is Crystal Barrett. And pine, um, Off the Board is where you finally go to your Pinterest board and you pull a pin and you let it inspire you. So I decided that I would just scroll through my Pinterest, literally like hit my finger up and then stop it without looking and do whatever I landed on. So this is what I landed on. Of course, I just came off of 30 days of sketches and I'm going to end up doing a sketch, but whatever, that's fine. So this is just for fun sketches um, and it's from an article from Celebrating Ordinary Moments blog spot. I've decided to use this Echo Park. I love my dog. I have the tag and frames. I have, um, or the frames and tags. I have the paper pack. Um, I have these Recollections Puppy Paws. About half of the sticker sheets still remaining from the Echo Park. Um, these two pieces of brown uh, cardstock that I'm gonna use as my base. And then I have some pictures I wanted to find pictures that I had in a smaller variety, and they're not as small as those look like to maybe two by twos, but these are um, smaller, and I'm going to make that work. And then the four tags and one picture over here, I'm going to make three of those tags pictures and one a tag, and then one bigger picture, and these are all of my um, Sheltie. And so we're going to see um, what we can make from all of this. So I've got my papers, my embellishments, these cute pictures, and this pen. So let's see how this goes. So the first thing I did was pick my papers. And I decided I wanted to go with complementing papers. Obviously, they all complement each other because they are all from the same collection. But I wanted them to be something similar along the lines of the color pattern. And so I decided that I'd go with this word phrase that just says like dog, furry friend, good dog, wolf, yum, um, things like that all over it. And then I also selected one that has the puppy paws in the same colors as the print. And so I cut those down to 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters because I just want a thin brown border. And then I get an extra piece of the brown paper and I'm going to cut this. Um, the first one I cut was three and a half by 10. I do trim it down a little. And that is going to be for that long strip on the left layout. And then I'm debating on um, the um, tags because I'm going to put pictures on the tags. I am not good at making tags. I can't cut straight. I can't ever get the sides even. It's not good. That's why I asked for a tag maker for my birthday or Christmas last year. My sister and um, my sister bought me one, and I love it, but it only goes up to two and a half inches, and I wanted wider because I didn't want to trim these pictures anymore than I already did. So I'm making my own. Uh, fingers crossed. I held my breath. Luckily, I have more of this brown paper just in case. I measured. I measured twice. You know, measure twice, cut once. That's that's what I did. And I am so happy to say that it worked. I am going to show you how I did it um, and go from there. But first, I'm going to put these little um, two by, they're like two by three and a half or two by three and a quarter, I think. And so I am going to put those down and I really am not concerned with it being centered on the length of the paper. I really just want to make sure it was centered on the width or the, you know, the height, um, because I can cut off what doesn't work for me. So I want to give it a pretty decent amount of space because in the sketch there is, um, like a, a good bit of space between the two pictures or the pictures. It's not just like a little sliver that you can barely see. So I wanted to do that. And this brown color is good because it is one of the colors in her fur. And so I get that down there, make sure that I'm happy with it. I am not super OCD about how, um, you know, perfect they are, but I did want to make sure that it was, you know, attractive to the eye. And then I didn't look at it and go, oh my gosh, these are so off. So I'm going to get um, this picture that's the, a little bit bigger. Um, I think I made that three and three quarters by three and a quarter, three and a half. I didn't want it to be a square. Okay, so here I am, I'm gonna do the tag. And so I decide I'm gonna cut it at the angle I want and then cut straight over 
my problem is I always cut at an angle, cut over, and then try and cut down. And I never can get it right. So I take what I cut off, I flip it around, and I hold it on there so I know that it's going to be pretty much the same size. Now my friend Anne Marie, she cuts the triangle, and then she takes that triangle, flips it over, and puts it on the other side. So that's pretty much what I'm doing, except I didn't cut it off of the thing. But look, I am so excited. You all, that's almost even. So smart me, thank goodness I'm giving myself some kudos. I hold up that one next to it and I cut the other two so that they, even if they're off a little, they're going to all be off the same. <laughs> That's the way I roll. But I'm really, really excited at how well they turned out, even if they're not perfect. And my plan is to get some kind of tag maker that will work with wider tags. Um, I do love the one that I got for my sister. It's from Dresser Craft. But um, I want something a little wider because I do use tags like this for pictures and I will not cut them. I mean, I can do it on my Cricut. So, anywho, so I am really thrilled with how these have turned out. And I did pick one of the tags or the cut aparts from the collection. It says True Love Has Four Paws. And I picked that one mostly because how far down the words were. It wasn't going to look weird. Um, most of the other ones we're covering more of that three by four and if I cut the little sides off it would have looked really awkward so I chose that one I mean they all were fitting um so I chose that one because of that so now I am taking a hole punch and actually punching the hole where the tags go which is funny since I'm going to cover them with something later but that's okay and so I get all of those in there. I'm really happy with the way they're looking. I'm not a huge brown person, but I felt like the brown was a good color because there is so much color in these lamps. So I felt pretty comfortable with using this much brown. I have a lot of brown in my stash because I don't use it. Um, so I am starting to put the tags down. I did it upside down so that I could kind of eyeball the way they have it in the sketch because I loved how wonky they were. And of course mine are bigger than theirs. So I have, there's some overlapping where there is not any overlapping in theirs, but I'm okay with that. And I still love the way that it turned out. Um, look how cute. Oh, anyway. Um, so I'm trying new things every day, you all. I'm loving all these challenges and daily, um, posts and things because they are really challenging me to try something different. Um, if I do the same old thing, I have a feeling that the amazing subscribers that I have would not stick around for long because it'd be boring. So, um, plus I'd get bored and I don't like that. I like none of my layouts look the same. I'm not sure I ever do a layout that looks just like any other layout because, Usually when I scrap just like off the cuff from my head, <laughs> scary, um, it's just like super random. I don't, you know, like a lot of people have certain um, formats that they use when they craft. I just don't. <laughs> and maybe I do and I don't see it, but I, I just don't. Um, so anyway, so the left side or the right side is um, tacked down and pretty much complete, I think. I think I've tacked, well, maybe I haven't put down that. One, I put fun foam underneath the main picture on that right side. Um, and so right now I am putting that you had me at woof um, on white cardstock. And yes, I know that's not going to stand out. I've got a plan. It's okay. Um, so I decide I'm going to put it on this red, which is the back of the uh, cut aparts. And because I don't want a lot of that because it is really, really red, um, like in your face red. And so I just want a thin border so it'll standing out, so it will stand out. I considered matting it again in black, but there's no black on these papers. And I thought, nope, there's no black in this collection. I'm not going to do that. And then I pull the sticker sheet out in a minute and find black puppy paws. And I was like, oh, crap. Oh, well, it's fine. It's already tacked down. It's standing out enough, in my opinion. Plus, I'm going to add a little something, something to bring, um, that space a little bit better as well because in the sketch it has a huge tag that takes up almost the same length as the top pictures and I wasn't going to do that like um I probably could have if I had a lot of journaling to do but I don't have a lot of journaling this is going in 
I was going to say a book, but honestly, it's going to be at least two books of our beach trip 2022. And it was one week and somehow I'm going to end up with like two full scrapbooks from one single week. But, you know, whatever. Um, so off of the sticker sheet from the Echo Park collection, I take a puppy paw, put it down where it says true love has four paws and it's the same color as the paper, but since it's outlined in white, it stands out. And then in the two pictures right here on the top left, um, on the tags, that is my son walking our dog up the stairs and she is on a leash just like that one in that I put down. And, um, so I figured that would be the perfect time and place to put that. And I am going to bring that tealy blue color in on the other side, um, on the other layout too. And so I put a dog bone down on the bottom, um, right of that, uh, cut apart. And then I take this dog and I haven't pushed it down yet because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It's super cute. It doesn't look anything like my dog, but you know, there are not a lot of stickers out there of Shetland sheepdogs. So I have now put down that picture of her, that bigger one over there on the right layout, and I'm getting a little piece of fun foam and I'm putting it down the little ribbon part uh, because this thing that says the very best puppy, I'm putting it up on the picture. And since the picture's on foam, I wanted to make sure that the little parts of the ribbon don't dip down. And then when I pushed it down so it would attach to the picture better, I realized that it was coming off the side over there on the right. So I tuck a little piece of fun foam there so it's not going to dip there either. And I love that. It's almost like she's won an award. Um, so I feel like the right side is mostly done. I'm going to do a little bit more over there, but I've added some embellishments. That's where the majority of the pictures and stuff are. So I really want to work over here on the left side because like I said, the tag that they have is much bigger. So it takes up a huge space and I really feel like this part right here on the right side of this cut apart is definitely lacking. So I'm flipping through all the little tags. A lot of them are white based, so I know they're not going to work. So I'm thinking that I could use this little yellow, um, like bubble thing and it's got the star with the puppy paw in it. And so I keep flipping through all these things and, um, some of them just don't fit word wise. Some of them don't fit, um, because they're white based. And then I find this one right here that says, all you need is love and a dog. And I love that. And I think adding it right here um, is going to give me something in that space so it doesn't look so empty. And it's going to add that blue color, like I said, that's already on the other side. And I really do love that. So I just trimmed a little bit of um, edge off of it and then tack that down. And then I'm going to put that yellow um, right there because there is yellow on the other side um, in that little ribbon. And, um, on the little, you can't see it right now, but I tuck a little brush, um, in that far right picture on the tag because it's a picture of my dog with a hair bow. Yep. A hair bow. Oh, bless my, my daughter and my nephew tortured the poor girl. And my nephew of course has one in his hair too. Yeah. Ah, oh, bless. Okay, so what you can't see me doing is I have gold gemstones from Park Lane, and I've put three of them down in the bottom of that blue cut apart, three of them above the cut aparts, and then three of them up above the love live, love, bark. And then I'm just going to add a few over on the right layout too, so it is, um, you know, evened out and everything. And then the only other thing I did was add some white enamel dots to the tag holes, all four of the tag holes, so that they are not um, uh, naked. No naked tag holes, you all. That's totally illegal. So here is that pin again. And like I said, there are 10 different double layers, double layouts. And I didn't have to do a double layout, but it went and I had pictures to go with it. So I will probably do those tags again, maybe for a Christmas layout, because I think it's super, super cute. And I will use ribbon or string the next time. So, but I thought this background paper was too busy for that. I don't think you'd be able to see it. So here are the close-ups and there are those enamel dots. And I hope you will come back again tomorrow, day two. I will be doing um, off the board again with pineapple papers. That'll be every day this month. And tomorrow, I'm so excited. I'm going to be starting my new series, um, Courageously Crafting, Scrapbooking Through the Hard Times. And I hope that you will come and join me and check that out. And I hope that you have an amazing day. 
And like I said, I hope again that I get to see you again tomorrow. Happy scrapping.